My name is Dr. Thais. I am a spiritual therapist and I help people find answers to just about anything, anything they have a question about. I help them with the answers through helping them contact their higher self, their spirit guide, their guardian angel, whatever you feel comfortable calling it. And during my sessions, people's guardian angels would say something that would pique my interest and I would proceed to ask more questions. I have a strong Christian background, like grew up mostly Pentecostal, then Baptist, a little bit of AME, back to Pentecostal. I have degrees in theology. I mean, it's, it's strong, but with this, not but, and with my continued spiritual growth through spiritual therapy, I am learning so much more. Like, look at my eyes. <laughs> I am learning so much more. There is so much more out there. And people who know, know, right? Like, most people I want to believe truly know that there are books of the Bible that they're still finding or uncovering or getting out the vault, dusting off, whatever. Um, but yes, there's books of the Bible that are not in the 66 books. Um, there's information that has been purposely taken out uh, because everybody can't have the genie in a bottle. I had this client whose guardian angel said some things that this is just a hard pill for me to, to swallow. This is why I'm coming to you all. It's a hard pill for me to swallow. I have to, somebody please explain this to me because I feel like a robot has just like like I feel like I'm a robot, you know, when the a robot overloads, they just zap and shut down. I feel like that because of the information that they said. Um, so yeah, just listen. Let me know in the comments what you think. It sounds more like the information sounds more like. Catholicism, but I don't know. I mean, I've never even walked into a Catholic church. Let me know what they're saying. Like, dumb it down for me, please. Please. I'm begging you. I want to know. Thank you. Angels are like humans in some ways, and they're not little gods. Some angels need reciprocity. Some angels need humans to call out for them, to want them. For them to be present and to work on behalf of the humans is on one side of the relationship that you take for granted that your angel is always there fighting on your behalf. Some angels obey, some angels are meek, and they need that human to show them what they want them. Mm. They need that for them to show up. They need their human to call on them for help or yes. guide? Yes to recognize them, to recognize their presence, right. their realness. So what would that sound like uh, coming from a human? Is it talking to God and then the angel carries forth duties on behalf of God or? Talking to the angel, acknowledging there's something more than God. We exist, we're not gods. But you work on behalf of God, don't you? We are God energy. Okay. So, can you give me an example of what you would say when he needs your help? Or like your guidance? In his prayers, he's really just praying to God. Just pray to the angels. Okay. So speak to us. Mm-hmm. Just acknowledge the reality of our existence. Ask for our blessings. Ask for our intervention. 
So like he would say, as an example, God, I thank you for your angels being with me. Angels, I ask that you help to guide me as I walk through this life. Let's say in Tallahassee for the next couple of years. Just guide me to the right people to help raise my frequency, my vibration, something like that? Yes. Okay. Hmm, well, thank you for sharing that with me. I was unaware of that. That is not something that they teach us here in the popular religion. So I truly thank you for sharing that. 